transforming your life through hypnotherapy has never been easier. With the help of your host, Julie, from CoachingHypnosis.net, in these power-packed minisodes, you're sure to find yourself engaging in more positive behaviors around both your physical and mental health. Here's your host, Julie. G'day, it's Julie from CoachingHypnosis.net, and you deserve to know the one soothe your child with hypnosis tip for 2022, because people have had enough of being the best parents on earth and feeling like nothing is working at the same time. And I'm not a therapist or psychotherapist, but this is my ninth year as a clinical hypnotherapist in strategic psychotherapy. I currently help my clients online. They change their life without changing out of their pyjamas. And you deserve to know if children can be hypnotised. And I'm confident that someone like you, with your high standards, has tried everything. How you step up to be the best that you can be. Your diligence to seek out the truth and avoid woo-woo healers. Know that from the early age of two, children are at the prime stage for fantasy play. And maybe you can. Recall a time when you used to play mummies and daddies, but maybe what you don't know is children that have a rich fantasy life are usually happier children, so you don't need to become a dictating parent if your child has an imaginary friend or talks to themselves in their room at night unless it begins to interfere with their progress of social skills, then you know to step in and discourage it. And fantasies are an important part of growing up. The fact is, when a child is playing a shooting game against the bad guys, what the child's really embracing are the principles of right versus wrong and morality. And maybe you've noticed that between the ages of 7 and 10, the imaginative play of early childhood becomes internalised. It's not just as public. Fantasies of actors, rock stars and singers is normal and fantasising can boost your mental health, give you a positive outlook on life and provide you with clear-cut goals for the future. Fantasies help us crystallise what it is we really want in life. And Dr Karen Olness, Professor of Paediatrics at Case Western University, has achieved some amazing results teaching visualisation techniques to young patients at children's hospitals. For example, a nine-year-old boy was diagnosed as inoperable and what the doctor said was an incurable brain tumour. Specialists at the hospital encouraged the boy to imagine a Star Wars setting with the tumour as the evil image. Vader in a successful battle against the tumour. The imagery was so effective that five months later, the tumour was completely gone without any type of treatment being used. And in Don Tolman's book, The FDR, he shares that according to John C. Beck, the gamer generation that spent their time sitting in front of a TV playing Crash Bandicoot is better off than the baby boomer generation that sat in front of the TV watching Gilligan's Island because gamers are literally having their brains rewired. The mental pathways in the brain are formed during your first 15 years of age. And when children play games routinely, from the time they're able to tap on the keys, they're also learning to think differently than their parents. These changes are positive, suggests research by Beck and Wade and others. As long as the children and teens are well-rounded, everyone understands that playing video games increases your hand-eye coordination, says John Seeley Brown a former chief scientist at Xerox Corporation, who also studied the effect of playing games in development of workplace skills. But what comes as a shock is video games lead to real leadership skills and that pattern recognition skills that allow gamers to see patterns emerge in a rapidly changing world. And as you know, children begin to learn by observation. Every parent has experienced pointing to pictures in a picture book and saying, this is a cat, this is a dog, this is a tree. And after seeing the pictures several times, the child can easily recognise the pictures later. And maybe you remember as a child being asked to memorise things. And I don't know if your teacher was kind and encouraging or should become a drill sergeant or something else, but what I do know is negative attitudes towards learning often follow us into adulthood. And I'm confident someone like you just might know someone who says, I have the worst memory in the world, or I can't ever remember where I put the keys. But there are some 
fabulous memory experts and systems out there for learning that are hundreds of years old. Because once upon a time, the Greeks and Romans used to remember long speeches. And as the cowboy Don Tolman likes to say, there are three kinds of sight. S-I-G-H-T, meaning to see. C-I-T-E, to say it out loud. S-I-T-E, the location. Because all you have to do to recall the information is reverse it, recall the place, then say it out loud, then visualize it, then you have recited the information. And children just love colors. Although 75% of pre adolescent children prefer the color purple to all other colors, purple is a very rare color in nature. And children dream every night too. They're more likely to remember bad dreams over the good dreams, and it's harder for them to distinguish bad dreams from reality, but you can do a lot to turn your child's dreams around. You can ask your child to draw the bad dream, and once it's finished, ask them to change it to include flowers or balloons inside, and explain to the child that dreams are like television. They can change, and you can switch the channel, but here is the one soothe your child with hypnosis tip for 2022, the rainbow ritual, which was developed by fabulous hypnotists, helping children deal with challenges sad or distressing news is a wonderful blessing for children and a comfort for their parents. The ritual is wonderful for children from about the age of three. When the child's ready for sleep, ask them to snuggle down into a comfortable position so you can wrap them up in an imaginary rainbow. Ask the child to close their eyes so they can begin to imagine better, running your hand lightly over the whole of their body from the top of their head to the tips of their toes, ask your child to imagine you're wrapping them up in the imaginary colour of red, the colour of tomatoes and fire engines. You can ask a child if they can see the colour, and children can always visualise colours. Next, still running your hand lightly over their body, you ask a child to imagine you're wrapping them up in a cloud of orange, the colour of oranges, pumpkins and apricots. Next, you wrap them up in a cloud of yellow, the colour of wattle, daffodils, golden warm sunshine on a bright sunny day, and then the colour of green, the colour of spring leaves, newly mowed grass, the colour while running your hand lightly over the body of the child. Next, you wrap the child in the colour of blue, the colour of a clear blue sky on a sun-filled day, the colour of the ocean. Ask your child again if they can see the colours, the colour of the night sky behind the stars. Then you wrap the child in the colour violet, the colour of little sweet smelling violets peeping out amongst the flowers in the garden. Finally, place your hand over the child's heart and get them to visualise as strongly as they can a rainbow that starts in their heart and comes out through the air and connects with your heart, placing your hand over your heart. Tell the child that this rainbow keeps the two of you connected all through the night. Maybe transforming your future has never been easier. So what if you thought about soothing your child with hypnosis differently? And what if you didn't? The choice is yours.